Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday evening. Oh, I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. What a day, a week. I think I say it every time, but it's just been really kind of kooky crazy lately. And I just was so looking forward to spending time with you tonight. I know you're in wherever you are and I'm wherever I am. Um, but I still kind of look forward to this time that we have together and I feel like it connects us even though we may not physically be together. I certainly love um, stamping with you and sharing with you and I can't see you but I enjoy seeing your beautiful comments. <laughs> so come on in let me know you're watching. Um, Beth is here. Good evening and Amy's here. Thank you everyone for coming on in. How are you doing tonight? How are things in your neck of the woods? I hope everything's good and everyone's healthy. Hello, Karen and Rosie's here. Everybody's coming on in. I see the little eyeball number climbing. <laughs> Denise is saying hi from Texas. Hello from New York. <laughs> kind of opposite ends of the country. That's kind of fun. Um, and there's another Denise. Hey, Denise, thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Okay, before we get going on tonight's card, I did something a little different this week. So I don't know if you know this, but I also do a live every Tuesday at 1 o'clock over in YouTube. Now, eventually I will be able to go live in both spots at the same time. I have the software. I just haven't tested it. Hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Um, but for now, it's YouTube on Tuesdays, Facebook on Wednesdays. Hello, Julie. Thanks for joining me tonight. Um, and so normally they're completely independent cards and have nothing to do with one or the other. I thought I would kind of switch things up and try something new this week. So um, I'm doing a sort of part two to yesterday's card. Um, I'll show it when we flip down. But I made this card yesterday over in YouTube at one o'clock Eastern time. And um, it cut out, as it drops, it cut out this leaf. Okay, so I used the negative to kind of outline and frame in the beautiful designer paper and then tonight i'm going to use the leaf in another card okay so they're kind of like sister cards they definitely look similar and um use similar product same product um so i hope if you missed yesterday's youtube um you can find that at like youtube.com forward slash stamp it up with jamie i think we'll get you there and um Tonight's like part two. So yay, I'm super excited. Before we get going on that, I want to announce something to you. If you get my tip, my weekly tips and updates email, you would have seen this come out yesterday in my newsletter and my weekly email. That, mark your calendars, October 22nd and 23rd, um, we are hosting a fall frenzy virtual retreat. Now I basically did the same thing back in March. I didn't call it a retreat, but when all was said and done, I'm like, that was basically a retreat. So I'm going to call it a retreat this time around. Um, and it's going to be super exciting. I am so pumped. I am um, partnering with Zara. So if you are a resident of the United States, you can um, register through me. If you are a re resident of Canada, you can register with her. Um, so we're kind of uh, covering lots of ground and uh, it the cost is $80 okay you get um, $40 in new Stampin Up product you're gonna get four um, excuse me five make and takes all unique so five different cards you're gonna get four pillow gifts which are like my favorite part I love the pillow gifts coming up with them making them packaging them up really fun um, and then there's gonna be like dem um, card demonstrations um, it's going to be lots of engagement on Facebook, so lots of posts to, to comment on and games, and of course, Prize Patrol. So just a really, really fun, fun event. So everything that you love about a retreat that you may have done like in person, we're basically going to replicate it and do it virtually. So um, it'll primarily be on Facebook and a private Facebook group, and then all of the lives will be done um, through zoom okay so um i'm really really excited there is a early bird registration kind of bonus so if you register uh by i think i put september 4th you're gonna get a free sixth make and take 
Okay, yeah, prize ritual. Everybody loves prize ritual. Um, you're gonna get a free sixth make and take. Okay, so you have to register before September 4th to get that extra make and take. Otherwise, you're gonna get five. And then here's the thing: they're gonna be kind of general cards. If you are specifically looking to stock up and make lots of Christmas cards. We are offering two additional add-on classes. One will feature the delivering cheer stamp set and the second will feature the words of cheer stamp set. You don't have to do both. You could just choose to do one or the other. They are $25 each and they both will make um, eight cards each. They will make two of four designs. Okay. Oh, Rosie said she loved the stamp camp in a box. It got my bo mojo going. Oh, I'm so good. So Rosie participated in our um, Bloom Where You're Planted stamp camp in a box in August. When was that? August. <laughs> this month. Woo! A lot's been happening. I'm so glad you liked it. We just This is going to be a little bit more engaging um, with the posts and the lives and um, on Facebook. It's just a lot, a lot of fun. You're not going to want to miss it. Registration is limited. I don't just have endless registration available. Um, so if you are interested, I highly recommend you registering as soon as possible, especially if you want to get that sixth make and take, you have to register before September 4th. Um, I believe general registration will close September, I think I said 27th, um, or if it, reaches capacity whichever happens first okay you can find all the details at jamieb.com there is a special link there that you can click on and it will take you to all the information and show you how to register and all the good things yes and heather was in my um event in march she said it was really fun can be very similar, Heather, um, just making a couple extra make and takes, but basically the same kind of layout and formula and um, just looking to get together. You know, it's just kind of a crazy time with COVID. <laughs> Whew, it's, I don't know about you, but it's been one heck of a like year and a half. Um, and so this opportunity that we can kind of connect and get together without really getting together and just kind of all come together um, with the love of paper crafting and with a mission just to kind of have a fun time. And we're calling it Fall Frenzy. I love fall, I'm so excited. Fall is my favorite time of the year. Um, but if you're looking for those, if you're looking also to make Christmas cards, be sure to check out um, at checkout that you get either delivering cheer or words of cheer or both, okay? So I'm super excited about that. I hope you can join. I hope you will join in. I am just so, so excited. Again, US residents can uh, register through me. Canadian residents can register through my friend Zara. I'm not sure if she has her registration open yet, um, but soon, <laughs> if not now. And as soon as she has her open, I will be sure to um, provide a link over to her as well. Okay, and any questions, certainly let me know. Okay. Let's get going on tonight's card, which is really why you're here, not to hear me yap in a way. Um, let me turn around the, the camera, my phone. I always struggle a little bit, so just be patient. I always get a little clunky turning it around. One of these days is just gonna completely fall and you're gonna, I don't know, be looking up my nose or something. So um, just bear with me a moment as I flip my card and then we'll get going. It has been one heck of a year and a half. Yes, Denise. I feel like we need something fun. We need like a fun, just something to look forward to. Um, yeah, <laughs> I need it. I need it just as much as you guys do, believe me. Maybe that's why I'm really doing it because I kind of need it. And so I figure like I might as well just host it. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I hope it's just gonna be a good like, let's get together without necessarily getting together and just have a good time. So sounds good. I'm gonna flip you around and then we're gonna get going on tonight's card. going to tighten it a little more and then Facebook is telling me my phone needs to be rotated and it's slowly falling why does this happen every week okay hold on that should be better sorry if you get dizzy just look away <laughs> okay I think we're good let me get my seat situated here I gotta go up okie dokie so let me get a swig of water okie dokie so yesterday on YouTube I made this card Okay. 
and um, I showed you step by step how to make it. It's really simple. Um, oh, thank you, Denise. You're too kind. I'm always afraid I'm going to get someone dizzy. I get dizzy easy, so I try not to be too clumsy about it. Um, I made this card over in YouTube. It's a simple design, nothing too out there outlandish. But what I love, there's a couple pieces that I love about this. Hey, Joanne. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, this designer paper, designer series paper, is specialty paper. So it has this kind of gold running through it. And the light just catches it so pretty. Um, mixed with the glare that you're kind of get off this ribbon here. So pretty. And then the metallic dots, I think they're called. <laughs> just really, really lovely. And it's kind of using, you know, when, when I cut out an image, in this case the leaf, I tend to use this and throw that away, <laughs> right? But this is a great opportunity to, yes, you're getting your leaf, but don't discard this piece of cardstock. This is great to use the negative um, piece and then stick a really pretty designer paper behind it. And you have a very simple card. It really comes together really easily. The measurements were given yesterday in the YouTube um, live. So make sure if you're looking for measurements, you head over there. Um, I will say someone made the comment that it was paining them to hide so much of the d beautiful designer paper. You can always reverse it. You could do this with the designer series paper and then the background, in this case, in the cinnamon cider. Okay, you could always kind of reverse them and have it highlighting just the plain cardstock in the background. But either way, really beautiful, easy card. And then I told you today, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this cutout leaf. Okay. So the leaf and is part of a bundle. Oh, sugars, I just realized I didn't take the dies out. And you know what? I didn't yesterday either. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I need that one. And I need this one. Okay. So the Gorgeous Leaves is the stamp set, okay? You're going to notice there's no sentiment, okay? So if you are making a card or a design and you want to use the sentiment, you're going to have to go looking for one in your stash, maybe a favorite one that you have tucked away or whatever. Um, but these images are really fun because they have like this little speckled bit around them. I love that we have a sort of background wood green. I just love it so much. And then this kind of dot. I am a huge, huge, huge fan. Well, Come on, let's be real. I'm a fan of leaves. Anything leaves and pumpkins, I, I just have to have. So this was a no-brainer, but it helps that it's gorgeous. It does bundle with the intricate leaves dies. So keep in mind, when you do get the bundle, it has its uh, separate own um, product code. I just realized everything's falling out. Product code, um, which will save you the 10%. Okay, so um, the stamps have a product code, the dies have a product code, but then there's a bundle product code number that will save you the 10%. So this guy here is what I use to cut out the leaf. Um, and I use the negative and yesterday we're using the positive, but we also have this branch. We have the outline ones that will match with the stamped images and these really cute. I always think it'd be really fun to do like a branch with all these leaves and maybe like falling down. And I love that you get two of each so you can really cut out a bunch at once because goodness knows if you were going to do that, you would need a lot for sure. Um, okay, so let me show you tonight's card. I don't think I've showed you the card yet. Oh, my goodness. I'm totally building the suspense. <laughs> it's actually a really simple card. Okay, so here's my card. Um, I use the leaf images to really create my own basic my own basically my own designer paper my own pattern paper and then I have the leaf just kind of tucked here in the corner um kind of hanging out by himself they use the same sentiment the same detail with the ribbon and some layering paper so you're gonna see they're kind of like sister cards right they definitely uh have the same feel the same colors the same sort of details uh but they are approached in a kind of different ways okay so let's get going on this card uh, I love creating my own stamped backgrounds. Well, I love designer series paper, so it should be no, no uh, surprise that I love making my own designer series paper. Okie dokie, I'm just getting everything out I need. Okay, the other thing I mentioned yesterday is after my product shares, the Blackberry Beauty designer series paper that I'm using here, this, I only had one six by six left of all of it, <laughs> of each design. And so um, all my cards use different, they're using different patterns. So this was my sample yesterday, and then this is the one that I made live. I'm using the different paper. And then today... Um, I have like that 
uh, cinnamon cider background and I'm gonna switch it out for this pattern here. But don't worry, I did order more. <laughs> I realized really quickly that there was no way that little six by six was gonna carry me through and this paper is gorgeous. Okay, so I have a piece of basic white. This is three and three quarters by five. And then I'm pulling out Cinnamon Cider, Blackberry Bliss, and Rich Razzleberry. So these are colors that came right from the inspiration from the Blackberry Beauty Designer, um, yeah, Designer Series paper. So anytime that you're looking and you're like, I just don't know what colors to use, pull out the designer paper and see what colors Stampin' Up! put together. I mean, they're the experts, <laughs> at least in my book they are. And so um, I just like look to see what colors they put together and I get my inspiration from there. Okay, so next I'm going to, um, I have the three leaves. Where's my thing? Here we go. One, two, three. This one's going to be Cinnamon Cider, Rich Razzleberry, and then Blackberry Bliss. And there's no rhyme or reason to creating a background uh, stamped image. Stamped paper, I should say. Um, my only suggestion is to kind of, I tend to, pick like maybe a corner-ish and then kind of work my way out. Um, sometimes if I start in the middle and then try and work around it, I find it's easier kind of working from one end and going across as opposed to starting in the middle and then working around it. You could do it that way. Whatever works best for you, whatever you find easier is what you should do. I'm just kind of telling you what I what works for me. Um, okay, so let's see here. I'm going to start with Cinnamon Cider. Such a rich yummy color um let's start here i'm gonna stamp it different than i did in my original card let's see if i can get this to work out watch it not work out okay and what i'm gonna kind of push my inks off i'm gonna keep my leaves in front of the color i'm stamping in so i don't accidentally cross <laughs> cross uh whatever cross color i don't know whatever um okay this one is the rich, i mean blackberry bliss and then rich raspberry will come in right here i was originally let me show you this this is super cute look at these trio of leaves they are one single stamp i originally had the idea of stamping them kind of around but scratched it but i love those little cute um those little leaves are so adorable okay there's really no rhyme or reason except i'm trying to keep like switch up the colors so they're not all necessarily and position and um um what's that word i want oh whatever that word is you know me i don't know words like like i'm rotating them around so they're not all like the same direction that's it why could i not think of the word direction oh my glory oh, I, don't know. I don't know i don't know um let's go this way like that oops Cross contaminate. I do not want to cross contaminate. Oh my goodness. I totally could too, knowing me. That's why I keep the stamps right in front of the ink pads that I'm using, the color. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> in theory, it should prevent me from accidentally sticking my orientation. Thank you, Pam. That's the word. See, this is why I need you guys in my life, because I just don't think of these things. I'm like, what's that word? Direction? That's not the word. Orientation, that's the word. Okay, so you can see kind of what I'm doing. I, I'm rotating the colors, so I'm not using the same color every time. But you also want to do like the little pieces on the outside. So you can see up here, I kind of have some negative space. And then over here, I have some negative space. So don't discount um, those little bits because um, you want them to fill in, even though you're literally going to have just like a little piece kind of peeking, like that's so itty bitty. Um, but it does add a little detail um, to that. You wouldn't want to, to skip out. Like it's so little, but I feel like you need it. Now this one is interesting because I literally have all three colors around. So which color am I going to? I like making background for cards. Both of your cards are pretty. Oh, thank you, Denise. Appreciate it. Very kind of you to say. I love making my own backgrounds. I don't do it nearly as much as I would like. I don't know, just because I don't know. I just don't do it that often. But when I do it, I it's just really fun. 
it's very kind of like artistic, right? I almost feel like the Stampin' Up! designers that make the designer series paper, right? They get to kind of play with the, the um, directions and whatever, the orientation <laughs> of, um, of the images and whatnot. So I just think that's really fun. Before I go sticking my hands in all that ink, let me just close that all up. And this is what I'm left with, okay? I think it's really pretty. I love the little splatter around these leaves. So, so pretty. It's kind of rustic. I just love it. Me too, Lisa. Me too. Okay, so this one I'm going to mat on a piece of Rich Razzleberry, which is one eighth bigger. So it should be set, um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And it is. Goodness gracious. Now, I may very well run out of adhesive. I always run out of adhesive on my lives. I don't know. It's like my adhesive knows I'm doing a live and figures it's the perfect time to run out of ink. I uh, run out of tape. Um, so we're matting this on rich raspberry. My ink is still a little wet. So let me flip that over. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Denise. Okay. So again, remember, I'm all inkied up. Um, I'm switching out patterns a little bit. So I'm using this one tonight. This is the same as the basic white. So three and three quarters by five. Why do I feel like that is much bigger? It is much bigger. Oh, glory. Hold on. Let's see if I can pull this up now that I just put it down. Okay, if you, I'm going to totally show you how to fix a boo-boo. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like half my lives are usually just how to fix your mistakes, okay? So my measurement, I'm just looking at that. I'm like, that is way bigger. My measurement was off. So I'm going to try and peel off the rich raspberry. It'll ruin the rich raspberry, but I'm trying to keep my basic white intact so I can trim it down and remat it. So what I do is I put it down. I'm keeping my basic black, in this case, flat, and I'm going to ruin my rich raspberry which it doesn't seem like it was really on that well that came off really easily <laughs> way easier than it should um uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. yeah that's three and a half okay hold on let me trim it hold on okay so if you're following along don't use that measurement i gave you this should be three and a half i'm just trying to see what side i want to trim three and a half it's going to stick a little. It's okay. Three and a half by four and three quarters. Three and a half by four and three quarters is the correct measurement. Let me fix the other ones. So three and a half by four and three quarters. And then your my matting is off too. So let's see here. Oh, I got to cut a new one. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to see which one's which. Okay, so three and five eighths by four and seven eighths should be the matting measurement. I am so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just get another rich raspberry out. Hold on. I gotta find it. Okay, so this should be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Those are the correct measurements. The other ones probably would have worked fine, but it just would have been really, really tight and I wouldn't be able to, it would almost be impossible to put it on an angle. It just would have been way too big. So this way um, I can get it a little bit of an angle. Thanks, Denise. You guys are always so kind and patient with me. And hopefully you learn how to fix your boo-boos too. Because <laughs> honestly, that's what this show is mostly about. Let's be real. Okay, here we go. Take two. Didn't we just do this? We did. <laughs> okay, so again, we have this pattern. Really, really pretty. I just love this. Because you know why? This is why I love this paper. It has like a nod to fall and autumn, obviously, right? But you could use this as a sympathy card. I think that the colors are very muted and would be nice for a sympathy card. I just like a birthday card, a just because card, any card you can use this paper. It's not, it's not screaming um, fall in the sense that you couldn't use it for something else. Hey, Susan, thanks for coming on in. 
So let me ask you, let me know in the comments, are you looking forward to fall or are you a diehard summer and can we just have summer last as long as possible? Because we've been having like 90 degree, high 80s, 90 degree weather these last couple of days and I'm like sweltering and so over the heat. I'm not really a fan of summer anyways. Um, and I'm so, so ready for fall in the cooler cooler evenings and the cooler days i'm just like give it to me i'm very over summer oh <laughs> yes the cooler weather oh everybody loves fall okay so this is my card base blackberry bliss four and a quarter by 11 score to five and a half. Oh my gosh beth i'm right there with you i am right there with you let's count down the days of summer <laughs> oh well, spring is lovely too you know um who was I sharing? Oh, I was sharing this with a couple people for my team yesterday. Did I? Or with my team, I think, in general. Um, when my husband and I, we lived abroad in Peru. We lived abroad in Guatemala, too. But when we were in Peru, um, we lived in a city that had very little humidity, like no humidity all day. I mean, all year. It was basically the same weather about 360 days out of the year. Maybe it rained for a couple of days and it got a little cooler sometimes and a little warmer sometimes but it was pretty much spring all year long and you know what i hated it <laughs> um oh you don't like the really cold weather i hear you oh jillian too doesn't like winter see i love winter give me the snow oh i just love it so much i know i'm a weirdo i know i'm i'm odd nobody likes winter i love winter Okay, so when we're putting on our layers, I'm going to do the pattern one first, and I'm going to go as kitty corner as I can with it fitting within the confines of the card, okay? So I don't want it to overhang because I'd like to get it to fit in an envelope. You could if you don't care getting a bigger envelope, but I'm going to go as far left and pretty much as far right as I can get this card stock to go while it's still fitting within the confines of my card front okay then with this one i'm gonna go straight okay you could go as far the opposite direction if you wanted um but then i find when we do a straight sentiment it kind of looks off right because we have diagonal diagonal and the straight sentiment i tend to do diagonal as far as i can go and then keep the second one more straight you're a transplant in New York or living in Florida. Oh, you miss it. Do you really, Susan? Um, corner? What did I miss? I missed something. Did I say something wrong? I probably said something wrong. <laughs> okay, this guy here, I'm going to stand, I'm gonna adhere down with dimensionals. And I'm not going to put them in the extremes because I don't want it kind of overhanging here. I'm gonna, I want it to all be on this. So I'm going to put it a little maybe farther in than I normally would. <laughs> oh well if it affects your arthritis i can i can see that rosie yeah um i just love it i love sitting in front of my window and watching the snow fall oh my goodness and i love like for me so my other love besides card making and paper crafting and now <laughs> nail painting is um i love puzzles but i only do puzzles in, during the cold weather I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> so um, I love just when it's snowing and it's cold and I'm like in comfy clothes and I'm sitting and doing um, um, a kitty corner. <laughs> oh, I think it's, is it kitty corner? I always say kitty corner. I always say kitty corner. Is it not kitty corner? I always say kitty corner. Um, uh, I love doing puzzles, but I only do in the winter time. So maybe that's also why I like winter. Okay, so this one's gonna go pretty straight on. I may try and tilt it a little bit. So honestly, the designer paper is really just peeking out a little bit. It, it's, you're, you're just getting like a little peekaboo of it. It's not really like in your face. If you wanted it more in your face, I would just cut this here smaller. Make it maybe a quarter of an inch shorter and you'll see a little bit more than it just kind of um, peeking out. <laughs> you don't know, I don't know either. Honestly, um, Joanne, I say things wrong all the time. <laughs> I do. I The funny thing is, so my you're learning all my stuff tonight, but my husband is Peruvian, okay? And so he would always say everything wrong. Like he'd be messing up phrases left and right. And the joke was that it's not because he's Peruvian. It's because 
I say everything wrong and he's learned it wrong, <laughs> even though his English is perfect. But um, that was kind of always the joke that everybody laughed at him. But by rights, like I butcher things all the time, every day, all the time. Um, OK, I did not. I got to mount my stamp. OK, Beauty of Tomorrow is where I'm pulling my sentiment from. Um, remember that uh, the gorgeous leaves doesn't come with sentiments. So you're going to have to pull them up from a different one. Um, I'm using the I'm here for you because I think that's just a great sentiment to show someone that you care, that you support them, that you whatever, that you are there for them. And I think we all know people that could use just a little bit of encouragement. A um, little bit of encouragement during these times or, you know, so I love it. I am going to, unfortunately, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the embossing buddy anymore. If you have it, still use it. And if you don't, I don't know, find another company that sells it. I shouldn't say that. That's so not right. But with dark cardstock, it can be a little hard to um, stamp with the Versamark ink and emboss. So I still use my embossing buddy. Um, and I'm just going to ink up my sentiment in Versamark ink. I call it all crazy, so I don't have to worry which way is the right way to say it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. I'm going to have to look it up, Joanne. Now I'm literally going to have to look it up when we're done because I've I, all my life I've said kitty corner. <laughs> um, I stamped it in Versamark ink. When we are heat embossing, um, the Versamark ink stays wet longer, so it gives you time to just sprinkle it um, generously with the white embossing powder. And I usually do give it like a little flick on the back just to get any excess um, powder off. Okay, close your close your embossing powder before you heat your sentiment because the powder will go everywhere. I say this because maybe I know. <laughs> and I'm just going to turn my heat tool on and get it close enough so that when the powder goes from a powder to a nice shine. Doesn't take long, and as soon as it's nice and shiny, you're good to go. Oop, 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 oop. I'm dropping everything. Okay. I am, I took them out. Hold on. I lost my, the dies. <laughs> oh, there they are. Um, so I'm using my favorite dies. I said it yesterday. They're my favorite. If you don't have them, you absolutely need them. You can make one. It's cornstarch. Just pour some inside an old sock and tie a knot. Oh, my goodness. Well, isn't that brilliant? I did not know that. Thank you for that little tip. I may have to steal that and make a graphic out of it. <laughs> that was brilliant. No, I never knew that. Um, it just takes the sticky off your cardstock so that you don't get, like, little white flecks everywhere that the powder sticks. It just makes the powder stick to whatever you're looking to emboss. Um, the Tasteful Labels dies is what I'm using for this to cut out the sentiment. Uh, like I said, these are my absolutely favorite dies. They have great, like a variety of sizes and fun shapes um, that you can use. They're all either stitched or have like an outline that it cuts out. Um, so I'm using this guy here, the banner. I use it all the time. I mean, my gosh. I, and I really have to restrain myself because I probably would clearly just solely use this those dies like by themselves and nothing else um because i just love them so so much um okay so off camera here i'm just gonna put this on my die cutting machine and run it through Get that going So again, it cuts out this, which can you see? I don't know if you can. There you go. It has like a stitch around it. And then, then you have this, which also has a stitch. If you can see it, if the light can catch it. Just really fun. And we're going to do the same detail I did yesterday. So again, when you're creating, you don't have to completely reinvent the wheel, okay? You can take nods or inspiration from cards you've already made. We don't have to completely redo things. So in this card, I love the paper. I love the leaf. I love how I did the ribbon and the sentiment. So I'm taking nods to all of that and just doing it now on this card. Okay. For the ribbon, goodness, I have such a mess everywhere. It's a miracle that I can find the ribbon. <laughs> um, it's this gold does it say the size? I should say the size. Three-eighths shimmer ribbon. 
oh it just the light picks it up it's so 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 pretty okay and all i'm going to do is put a little bit of adhesive kind of where i want my ribbon to go okay i'm not cutting it ahead of time you could but i really don't want to waste any ounce of this ribbon because it's so pretty and all i'm going to do is kind of catch the adhesive just go a little high come down catch the adhesive again fold it go up a little bit catch the adhesive again and then cut my adhesive i want a nice angle but not too extreme okay if i didn't like something i could caddy corner <laughs> i knew i said it wrong i don't doubt that for a second <laughs> um if you don't like it, you can just pull this right off. The adhesive will hold it down so it's not going anywhere. But if you really, if it just doesn't lay the way you want it, or maybe it's not the right direction or whatever, just pull it off and you can start over again. No big deal. And um, I'm going to put the sentiment, I see I went a little left, but I did go a little left. Ah, I'm going to fix it. I can't. I'm sorry. In good conscience, I cannot do this. Although it was exactly how I want it to look. I want it a little bit more center. So, doot, doot, doot. Is that more center? That is more center. Okay. Um, I'm going to adhere my sentiment down with two dimensionals. I just realized I don't have designer paper for my envelope tonight. I may have to see what I have left. There's not much, let me tell you. <laughs> too funny, Jillian. Okay, so two dimensionals kind of in the middle. You don't want to go too far out or else you're not going to be able to sneak that leaf in. So kind of directly in the center. And then we're going to plop that down right over my ribbon. Okay, now I haven't forgotten about the leaf. Remember I told you we were not going to discard this leaf. We're using it. And I'm going to literally just tuck it under right there, right to the left of my sentiment with a little bit of glue. Now, the leaf it has some dimension to it okay it does kind of curve um at the corners here so i'm just going to put adhesive kind of in the center here and leave it so that it kind of lifts off the card now granted when you put it in an envelope and you put it through the mail it'll probably get squished but we can just pretend i'm okay pretending like it's not going to get squished and it's going to stay nice and fluffy and pretty or maybe i'm hand delivering this one so it doesn't get squished Okay, so I just have it, um, a little bit of liquid glue kind of in the center there. And I'm going to slip it under my sentiment. I want it in so I can still mail it. Right there. Okay. And I just realized I didn't use any of my gold dots for this one, but that's okay. I used them in my first card. Okie dokie. So for the inside, oh my goodness, I guess I didn't do an inside. Look, for my sample, I didn't do an inside. So we're going to do the inside the same way I did it yesterday. Uh, basic white four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to just stamp that one leaf image in cinnamon cider in the right hand corner. Um, like so. Give it a little detail. A little a little detail on the corner without being anything too in your face. That still looks a little on the wet side. I can see the red. I can see the red. I'm running out, but so far so good. It's kind of a miracle. Oh, I got a little smear, but it's very faint. We're going to act like no one's going to see that. Whoops, oops, oops. So as I'm gluing this in, which one do you prefer? Do you like the crumb cake designer paper? Or do you like the more rich raspberry designer paper? I'd be curious to know. And I definitely stamped these guys closer than I did these. So depending, unless you're doing it like perfectly the same, they are going to come out a little unique each one, depending on how you stamp and, and whatever. I could have replicated it, but I thought, you know, I just kind of wing it. <laughs> Joanne, both. I like them both. So I think it does definitely have a different look depending you know, with the cinnamon cider or the rich raspberry. I think me too, Pam. I think I'm a little bit more a fan of the rich raspberry one. Um, kind of sticking with the purples. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me see what I have left. Hold on. I do not have much. This is all I have left of the paper. Look, it's like so very little. Oh my goodness, it's like nothing. But don't worry, I did order more. Is that two and a quarter? <gasps> 
can totally make an envelope. Should I use this? I am making that card, so I guess we should match the card, the envelope, I mean. I think that is just enough to do an envelope. Oh my goodness, it's two and a quarter. It's like it's meant to be. Okie dokie, so I have my envelope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two and a quarter by six will be good enough to do your envelope. All you need is a little bit of liquid glue, a little bit of your designer paper. It is fun to match your designer paper. Although I think as long as you stay sort of within the same pack of designer series paper, any of them will work. Oops, 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 oops. Gosh, I need to put glasses. I cannot see where that line is. I hope I, hope I didn't pass the line. <clears throat> the more I wear glasses, the more I find I need them. Like, <laughs> like I just can't without them. Okay, so I'm going to flip that over, give it a little trim, and we will be done for tonight. Um, if you like the product, keep in mind Celebration is going on right now. So it is a great opportunity to earn free product um, just by ordering things that you like and you love already. Um, with $50 order, you get a level one item. And a $100 order, you can get a, either two level ones or one level two. Um, and, of course, you're going to earn... Um, a free product with any order over 50 through me, as well as star rewards, which um, earn you um, a free $30 shopping spree. So Jamie, B-J-A-I-M-I-E-B.com. You can find my link to shop. Um, take advantage of celebration and of all the free goodies that you can earn, as well as shopping through my store. I am always here to answer questions if you have any. Um, if you've been watching and have yet to leave a comment, quickly do so. I'm going to throw all your names into a hat and pick one lucky winner. Um, thank you, everyone, so, so much for joining me tonight. I will be back YouTube 1 o'clock on Tuesday and here on Facebook next week, same time, same place. Everyone, have a great rest of your evening, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.